Hello YouTube, hello participants. Hi Bridgeoners, welcome. Hello Firmansia, Evika, Ayla. How are you guys today? On a rainy days. Great. Lazy. How, how, how did you feel? Are you feeling lazy? very good today? <laughs> Are you guys productive uh, on this rainy day? Gloomy day. Hi, Dian. How are you today? I'm doing good. How are you? You're good. Yeah, I'm great today. Just got my second job of uh, my uh, vaccine. Today. Oh, really? Yeah. Was it sore? Uh, not as sore as the first one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is it your first time? Maybe. Uh, no. Actually, this is like my first, fifth, or sixth time already. Oh yeah, it's it's good. Thank you for uh, joining us. And then I'm going to greet another person. Maybe Ayla. Hi, Ayla Audrey. Could you please turn on your camera? so that uh, me and all of the participants can see you. Okay. Hello. Hi, Denny. How are you? Uh, I'm good today. Good. How about you? you. Uh, it's, it's a great, to, glad to see you for Britoners. Today, yeah, of course. we're going to start for, you know, for the, the Tuesday class. Denny, I Denny, uh, I want to ask you, uh, could you, greet someone here randomly just uh like who do you want to greet like let's introduce each Sorry? other to her or him Ex someone to introduce himself or herself so i just want to be the good the good person the good person okay i think i'm going to say hi to pepe good person hey. I think that's all. Hi. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Hi. Uh, <laughs> is it your first time here joining Bridge? Yes, this is my first time joining this class. Wow, thank you. How uh, uh how how did you find out about Bridge? Uh well I actually uh, already followed the uh, Instagram account of the Bridge already for a long time. Uh, and I uh, actually noticed that Bridgeton already have a several online class, but um, uh, this is my first time joining because uh, the schedule fit with my schedule, <laughs> I think. Oh yeah, finally you find uh, your time to to join uh, this session, right? Right. <laughs> what what uh, what's your expectation? Uh, my expectation yes. for joining this class, uh, firstly, uh, absolutely, I want to improve my English skill because I think my English skill is not good enough. And also, uh, I want to widen my connection uh, by knowing uh, everyone new here. Uh, and I also, uh, actually, I want to... Uh, to improve my English skill because I'm in a preparation to continue my master degree and I want to do it abroad, but uh, it's just uh, a plan uh, and I um, still not, I still don't know uh, where country, where I <laughs> will continue my master degree. Mm, I see. Yeah, uh, there are uh, a lot of people, a lot of members of Rizon who wants to continue their study to master degree, and you can make friends with them. Yeah. <laughs> Get uh, some insights from them, and we usually uh, hold a hold some classes for uh, that uh, the topic is about 
continue the master degree or uh, getting a scholarship for master degree, etc. <laughs> Thank you for making your time for Bridgezone. Okay, uh, I think guys, uh, before we start the class, I want to uh, share some announcements to you guys. Uh, this might be useful, so uh, I need your attention. And But I think uh, if you are in a good circumstances, can you, can you please turn on your camera so uh, the conductor and all of the participants will feel not alone right here. Thank you, Diki. Thank you, Hamdan, Evika. Okay, I think I can start now to give some announcements. All right. Okay. Uh, hey, fellow Bridgezoners. Welcome to Bridgezone. Thank you for uh, signing up yourself to this session. And let me introduce myself first. My name is Rere, Re, and I'm going to lead this class for today. And then, uh, so uh, what is Bridgezone? Bridgezone is uh, an largest English community in Jakarta. And then these are our values. The first one is Bridgezone is free and uh, it's an open platform, which is you can freely join without any fee. Okay, and then uh, Bridgezone is a voluntary based community. So the conductor, either the conductor or the committee uh, is not being paid. And also uh, Bridgezone is of course an English education where you can learn English and practice your English. And then uh, we have three regular classes. The first one is Bridgezone Speaking Academy or BSA. Uh, it starts, it runs every Tuesday and starts at 7 p.m. And then it focuses on public speaking, such as speech, debate, interview, and etc. The next one is Bridgezone Betterment Series, or BBS. It runs every Wednesday, uh, which is tomorrow, so don't forget to register yourself. And then it starts... Uh, just the same as today's session from 7 p.m. And then it touches four skills in English. They are listening, reading, writing, and speaking. And the third one is Bridgezone Fun Day or BFD. It runs every Saturday and starts from 11 a.m. And it brings various topics for weekly discussions. Uh, and of course, in a fun way, because uh, it's a Bridgezone fun day. Oh, uh, also, besides our regular, regular activities, we also have a uh, latest activity that you can join. Uh, and I think the one who is going to present is my friend. Uh, I think I'm going to call him. Hi, Danny. Hello, Danny. Are you uh, still here? Okay. Wait, I'm going to reach out. Mm, okay, I think I'm, a, I'm just continue it and we'll call him later. Okay, the next one is we have some social medias, of course, to spread the news about Bridgezone and the activities. The first one is we have Instagram. Uh, you have to follow, of course, because this is the, the most updated platform at Bridgezone ID. And then we have Twitter at Bridgezone ID, Facebook. Uh, and also we have YouTube channel, Bridgezone English Community, where we... Uh, always uh, live on every session of our class so you can uh, find out our previous sessions, <clears throat> our previous sessions uh, of Bridgezone. And the last one is we have website, bridgezone.id. And also uh, you can support uh, this community by purchasing some cool merchandises. 
uh, we have uh, Busy Mart and Busy Merch. Busy Mart is uh, usually we have we we no no usually we sell some snacks on our offline class back then before the pandemic we usually we regularly help our offline class and we sell some snacks for those who needs uh, meals during the class and then <clears throat> we also have Bridgestone merch uh, this is the this is our cool merchandises that you can purchase and if you want to know more about our merchandises you can follow our instagram at Bridgestone merch and or you can uh, reach out this whatsapp number and the next one, Bridgestone is also sponsored by uh, Perpustakaan Dikbud. As I have said before, uh, back then, before the pandemic, we regularly held our class uh, offline. And this is the place where we usually held our, we hold our class at Perpustakaan Dikbud. And also you can sign up for becoming the member of this library. So you can access uh, some impressive resources such as book collections, audio and video collections. Uh, for more information, you can follow their Instagram at Perpustakaan Dikbud. Okay, and this one is also our uh, sponsor. They're supported by Agago app. And for uh, more information about this, I'm going to ask my friend, Raki. Hi, Raki. Hi, Rere. Yeah. Okay, uh, are you ready to, to hear more about Atmago app? Sure. Okay, so, the time is yours. All right, thank you so much, Rere, for presenting, it, presenting me. Hello, Bridgezoners. I'm Raki. I am here as a brand ambassador of Atmago. I will let you know about what is Atmago by by play some video. So sit back, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Apa itu Atmago? Atmago adalah sebuah media sosial berbasis masyarakat dengan semboyan warga bantu warga. Atmago mengajak warga masyarakat untuk saling berbagi informasi di sekitarnya secara online. Informasi dapat berupa berita, lowongan kerja, pengaduan, dan pengumuman kegiatan warga yang semuanya bersifat lokal. Atmago mengajak kita untuk menjadi jurnalis warga yang mampu mengabarkan keadaan sekitar kita sendiri yang mungkin luput dari pemberitaan media besar. Ayo beratmago dan tunjukkan siapa dirimu. And then the last is about the new feature on Atmago. We can call it a Ruang Komunitas Atmago. Here we go. Indonesia memiliki lebih dari 3.000 komunitas yang berpengaruh di bidangnya. Karenanya, Atmago menghadirkan Ruang Komunitas Atmago ubah diskusi menjadi aksi. Atmago menawarkan berbagai fasilitas. Kamu dapat menampilkan aksi-aksi komunitas kamu, merekrut relawan baru, mendokumentasikan semua kegiatan komunitas kamu, memonitor dan menganalisis segala bentuk perkembangan dalam angka dan data. Jadi tunggu apa lagi? Mari bergabung bersama Ruang Komunitas Atmago. Atmago.com Warga bantu warga. All right, that's all about Atmago. If you want to know more about Atmago, you can go to the Atmago Instagram at Atmago app. So that's all from me. Thank you so much. Back to you, MC. Thank you, Raki. That's really interesting application. Okay, uh, so don't forget, guys. Uh, you have to download the app to get more information about your surroundings. And then uh, the next one is I'm going to call Denny. Are you uh, available, already available? 
okay uh, okay maybe later uh, at the end of the class or uh, when you're already oh you're still disabled okay maybe you can change your um device Denny or you can ask your team to present uh, the related information that you want to share okay maybe i will call you later yeah and or you can reach out to me and the next i will continue my uh my information the announcement i mean uh okay i think this is the end of uh the slides this is our after class traditions for those who just join uh our class today we usually have a tradition the first one is taking pictures so please don't leave uh the the zoom before you're taking pictures and the next one is we usually share uh the feedback link on either on the chat box on the zoom set chat box or the whatsapp group so you can uh so you can give us uh, your input your feedback so you can so we can improve our future classes okay i think with the announcement so oh Dini, you're already good everything's good <laughs> Yeah, finally. Okay, finally. Okay, guys. So before uh, I jump to to introduce the conductor, I think we're going to hear more about our latest activity on Bridge Zone. So, Denny, please. Uh, the time is yours now. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Hi, Denny. Hi. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm from event coordinator, uh, and recently, I mean, currently, we are uh, we are holding this amazing event. It's called Bridge and Festival, and I'm here to tell you that the competition are extended until September twenty first, twenty twenty one. As you can see in the poster that I just shared, uh, we got three. If you haven't know that already, <laughs> we got three competition. Writing, storytelling, and also singing. Uh, for the term and condition, you can check our Instagram on bridgezone.id. And you can also see all the detailed uh, terms, all the detailed process as well, and how to uh, register your file. So please. Don't forget to join and express yourself with us. Any question? <laughs> One guys, if you wanna ask something. The price is insane. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, and- So how to join this competition, Denny? Well, as you can see in the poster, the, the, you can, uh, click the web just like, uh, below there and don't forget to be creative with your writing and also storytelling because the judges is one hell of a judge <laughs> we get we get judges from atmago as well this is this event is we collaborated with atmago so i mean there's already a lot of people joining the writing competition and also storytelling and also singing as well. So, I mean, the competition is really intense here. <laughs> so we have extended the competition to 21st of September to you know give you guys some extra time to prepare and join us and have fun as well. All right, thank you, Dan. Okay, if if uh, okay, if no no one uh, has any questions, so I'm just gonna end my announcement. Thank you, okay. everybody, for yeah. the opportunity and have fun. Yeah, thank you, Denny, for thank you. information, the announcement.
Nice. Don't forget to join, guys, because uh, the price is. <laughs> You can pay your internet bills. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to greet our conductor. Hey, Matthew. Yep. Is my voice uh, how, clear uh, enough? How do you feel? Oh, I'm great. I'm great. Uh, okay. Does, uh, uh, does my voice clear enough? Do my voice clear enough? Yes. Yeah. It's clear. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, what are we going to talk about today? Um, uh, as you guys see in the um, in the Instagram posters, I bet you guys already know the, the the whole topic of the of tonight's class. So yeah, basically we're just gonna talk about uh, some ways for us for you guys to improve your English. So yeah. Wow. Uh, so uh, you will give us some uh, tips and tricks that you have implemented to improve your English yes some of the top uh, some of the tips is uh, the things that I did before so oh. I hope it will help you guys so uh, yeah okay guys as you can see how fluent he is so <laughs> no 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 <laughs> I'm still learning okay <laughs> Yeah, uh, so Matthew is an English enthusiast and also a fun fact, he is also part of Bridgestone Community this year. So, uh, yeah, without any further ado, please welcome Matthew. Woo. Okay, so yeah, thank you, Rere. Uh, yeah, so hi guys, my name is uh, Matthew. It's not actually my real name, but people call me Matthew in Bridgestone, so oh, yeah little bit fun fact. So uh, let me share my screen first. Yeah, give me a second. Give me a second. Um, share sound. Okay. Can you see my screen now? Yeah, it's visible. Okay. So Okay, so hello guys. Yeah. Uh, my name is uh, Matthew. So uh, before we begin our session, I'm gonna uh, start with a little game. Uh, I think some of you already seen this game. Yeah, uh, so if you already seen it, I'm sorry. I'm really out of idea. <laughs> so I'm just gonna give you uh, the game that I've presented before. So uh, let's just play it. It's, it's really simple. You, you will see some letters on the screen. The instruction is just you need to create word based on the letters shown on the screen. Okay, very simple. Mm -hmm. You can just type it on the chat box. So yeah, that's it. The instruction. So let's start. Yeah. Let's start with the first letter. Okay. This is the letters. Type any word. Angel. From. Yeah. Yeah. Who was that? I'm sorry. I can see which person talking. <laughs> yeah, the first thing people see, angel. Okay, there's still other words in this letters. Yeah, muse. Okay, like gen. Okay, uh, muse already. Uh, and then and then gel and then lean lane, age. Okay. Knack, exactly, knack. Okay, is there anything else? I think there's still some of it. <laughs> okay, Reza said A, which is, yeah, correct. <laughs> it's correct, yeah. Really clever, okay. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, I think that's it, yeah. Okay, okay, guys, that's the first uh, letters. Let's move on to the next letters here. Okay, this is the next set of letters. Mm, yeah, the first thing you can see is flower. Oh, yeah, we, how, uh, four, lower, O, uh, you, 
Is that a word? Ew, ew. <laughs> okay, this. Wow, it's just so many words. People are like hitting their keyboards really fast. I can't even see the previous chat. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay. That's 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 so many words. Uh, that was. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and they're tapping super fast. I mean, I mean, calm down, guys. It's not a competition. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, yeah, this is the this is the uh, another set. Let's move on to the other set of letters, and this one. Okay, let's see how many words you can find with. <laughs> oh, relax, Dian. It's not it's not competition, so no need to be shaking. Okay, we have X, new, uh, wax, um, really, EXO. It's <laughs> all the K poppers. Uh, and then we have uh, wax gone, X, gen, one, own, uh, new, yeah, new. Gwen, I think Gwen is the name. <laughs> Ulan. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, is there anything else from here? Okay. 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 I think that's it, guys, for our little game in the in the beginning of the session. I I see people are really kind of enthusiastic with this game. Uh, these people really type fast. <laughs> okay. Okay, so yeah, this is this this uh, this game is actually uh, one way for you actually to improve your English. For some of you that that's, that that feel like a uh, lack of uh, like lack of vocabulary, uh, it's actually gonna help you. Uh, it's also helping you guys to you know uh, because you. Uh, your friend helping you with a lot of words that they type in the chat box. So either way, we are helping each other uh, to learn English. So yeah. So as I said before, this kind, this game is actually could be one ways to improve your English. So uh, before I start the game, uh, the session presentation. I'm sorry. So uh, I need. Uh, I'm going to uh, say some disclaimer. Uh, I'm no teacher. And I, I even don't have any uh, privilege or certification as English teacher. But uh, the things that I can do is that I'm still an English learner. We as a learner, it's much easier for us to help each other and learn English. Okay, that's why that's why you guys here for right. Besides, you are here looking for new knowledge about English, but also you can help the others uh you know to learn english so we together can improve our language uh yeah english okay uh i hope you guys fine with that and then another uh things i want to say to you is that uh i hope you guys can be cooperative because in the in the middle of my session i'm gonna call one of you to help me with the uh, with the session, so yeah, so I hope you guys can turn on your mic and turn on your camera if you would. Come so, on, guys. Yeah. yeah. If you, if you want to turn your camera now, it's okay. So yeah, so so far so good. Yeah, give me some reaction if you can, if you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys are. Uh, uh, ready for our next session, I'm sorry. Let, okay, now, I want you guys to look around you right now and find something that is square, anything. Look around you, look left, look right, look behind you, find anything that kind of square. Uh, if you have it, keep it in your hand first. Uh, okay, Dion showing their, is that, is, is that a shampoo? <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, who else? Anyone already get their 
object that is square, it, it can be anything, like anything. Okay, so I'm going to call, I can't really see everyone faces here. I wanna I wanna hear from Efika maybe. Efika, are you yeah, there? Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Did you find your object? Yeah, I did. Oh what what is it? It's a package box uh, box I get from Sociola, you know, online shopping. Okay. So can you describe to me about the package? It's like anything. It's cute. It's it's pink, which is my favorite color. That's why I keep it, not throw it away, even though it's just a box. And I think it's just a nice addition, a nice uh, you know decoration for my room. So yeah. Show us the box. Oh wait, I'm gonna take it first. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's like this. Can you see it? Oh no, it's my background. Yeah, it's blurred. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, we, we can see it. It's know, pink. Pretty it's, things inside. Or pretty yeah. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else you wanna add? Uh, no, that's it. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Efika. Thank you. Okay. So I'm gonna uh, ask someone else. Um, who? Uh, I'm gonna call Amanda. Are you there? Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay. So, can you turn on your camera? No. Oh, yes. you did. Okay. Yeah. So, did you find your object? Yes, actually, I'm holding my laptop right now. Okay, so can you describe to us what your laptop looks like? <laughs> Let me try to show it. Uh, can you see my laptop? Is it visible right now? Yeah, okay, we see. So <laughs> I think this laptop is the precious thing for me because I did my fastest with this laptop. It reminds me of my struggle as a student at my university. I think that's all. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Amanda. My pleasure. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, for the others, sorry, I can call you all. <laughs> like, too many of you, like 40 people here. I can call you one by one. So, okay. So, the, the basic idea is that you guys need to bring out all of your words. Like, it can be, like, objective thing. Like, is it sweet? Is it... Uh, boxy, delicious, uh, because the, the idea is that uh, besides your practicing your current vocabulary, you can also learn new ones. I mean, like, and maybe you, you maybe you're in the road and then you see a billboard and then you have a word in Indonesian that you don't know what is the English word. You can always write it down and then you can, you know, search it later, right? So, so, so yeah, so the basic idea is that always try to speak anything speak everything that you want to speak about something you know yeah so that you can you know uh you know where you know what uh what kind of words you know already and then later on if there's a word that you don't know in english you can always set it down and then search it later okay this is the first one yeah this is a one way for you to improve your um english Okay, so I'm gonna ask someone to help me. I'm gonna call um maybe Hamdan. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, in the next slide there will be some object. An object. I want you to describe it to us. You ready? Okay. Okay. So there you go. Okay, the in this picture you can see the open box with the brown color, and the box is open in the top side. Mm. Yes, just like that, maybe. That's it. Okay, thank you, Amdan. Okay. Let's see. Uh, uh, 
it might you might uh, think in your head that oh my god what what else can I say about this object right but in my opinion it's okay I mean you just just say it I mean it, it doesn't have to be in English now you can just say it in Indonesian and as I said before you can write it down and then later on you can search for the English word so this is one way for you to uh, improve your English okay let's move on to the next tips oh wait Okay, it's not shown. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so this, there will be a video and I want you guys to listen carefully. Uh, let's play. I hope my internet is good. They're cute, they're lovely. Can you just hear the voice, the sound? Okay, so let's start it again. They're cute, they're lovable, and judging by the 26 billion views of over 2 million YouTube videos of them pouncing, bouncing, climbing, cramming, stalking, clawing, chattering, and purring, one thing is certain. Cats are very entertaining. Okay, there's some sort of um, clip about the, this video. And I wanna call uh, one of you, um, I think Alfie, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay, so did you hear the short clip? Mm, actually, not really. I said I didn't get. <laughs> okay, what well, what do you get that small small part of the video? It's about um, it's about the cuteness of a cat. Okay. That's it. Okay. Okay, thank you, Alfie. And then I'm gonna ask who else, yeah? Mm, I think I'm gonna call Rama. Are you there? I'm not here, sorry. Okay. So did you see the clip yet? Yeah. Okay, so what do you think about that short clip? What did you get from that short clip? Actually, I haven't watched the video because I'm doing something else at the moment. Okay, it's okay. Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay, it's fine. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, man. Okay. <laughs> It's okay. So yeah, so the basic idea is that, uh, uh, yeah, the basic step is that you need to listen to English from any media. It could be a podcast, it could be a music maybe, or a movie, uh, an audiobook, like whichever media do you want to choose uh, to make it more like constantly you can set your time like in a day I want to listen to any minute in English for 20 minutes, maybe. You can set your own targets. So in this way, you actually can uh, learn uh, English. At least you can get used to hearing English words, yeah. So uh, if it's a movie or a YouTube video, you can turn on the subtitle or off, uh, whichever. Uh, but uh, there, there might be some pleasant Plus and minus with with subtitle and without subtitles. Okay, it might be easier for you to to listen and to watch YouTube video with subtitle, right? It's like you know what they're saying in the subtitles, and then you know how they pronounce it. Oh, this this man say the word happy. Oh, this is how they pronounce it. So yeah, so this is how uh, a way what one way. So let's move back and let's try in the big, let's get back to the beginning and let's turn on the uh, caption titles. They're cute, they're lovable, and judging by the 26 billion views of over 2 million YouTube videos of them pouncing, bouncing, climbing, cramming, stalking, clawing, chattering, and purring, one thing is certain, cats are very entertaining. Okay, so 
you see that how it's it's easier when there's a subtitle on right uh you can see like new words maybe from that short clip uh yeah so like, like listening to any media that, that's in english uh you uh it's actually can practice you can make yourself like get used to the english and then you also uh you know um improve your english so yeah this is one way so um sorry i don't wait uh okay so i'm gonna play some audio it's a statement and i want you guys to choose the best response to the statement okay uh let's hear the first uh audio listen carefully where is the meeting room a to meet the new director b it's the first room on the right C. Yes, at two o'clock. Okay, you can answer it in the chat box, and people are already answering, and they all answering B. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's only the end that's right the whole sentence. <laughs> okay, so uh, yes, the answer is B. That's good. Let's try another audio, yeah. The second audio. Did you get the pay raise you asked for? A. No, I don't have any questions. B. Yes, effective as of next week. C. Yes, four people are coming. Yeah. Yeah, again, the end write the whole sentence. Yeah, it's B. Yeah. Oh, Danny, don't don't get angry. It's it's B. <laughs> okay, it's B. Yeah. Let's okay. Let's hear uh, another audio. Yeah. I hear you'll be retiring soon. A. It's almost twelve o'clock. B. I always get sleepy after lunch. C. Yes, in about a month. okay yeah it is c so yeah that's some example of it's actually a sample of toic test if you guys know toic so that's that's a sample from the listening test so yeah let's move on to the next steps wait why it keeps backward ah it is okay let's write something i want you guys to get a piece of paper or if you are using laptop now, you can use your Word or Notepad, whichever. Just uh, just get ready any writing tools, okay? And then I want you guys to write like anything, like anything that comes to your mind. Maybe about today, or maybe uh, about your new shoes if you bought some. Like anything, anything that you want to write, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you two minutes to write and start now. Wow, <laughs> I think everyone is being so concentrated. Yeah, I mean, I can see their you faces. See? They're like, they're focusing <laughs> like. <laughs> oh yeah, don't don't uh, don't even think about the grammar. Just write everything, yeah. like anything.
Okay, I think I'm just gonna stop the timer. It takes too long because we have time limit. I don't want I don't want the MC to get mad at me. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> uh, I think you guys already have some a sentence. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna ask someone here to um Peppy. Are you there? Yeah. Hello. Hi. Did you finish your writing? <laughs> yeah, I already finished my writing. Okay, do you mind reading it for us? Uh, well, actually, I just want to tell you guys about uh, today. Uh, I think today, uh, like, I'm not that productive uh, as before because I've been sick uh, for several days. But uh, this night, I feel so excited because I can join this uh, Bridgeon online class already since I already follow the Instagram account of the Bridgeon for a long time. But every time I saw the announcement about the online class, I uh, sometimes I feel like uh, I kind of hesitate to joining this class uh, uh, sometimes I feel also insecure because <laughs> I'm not really good in English actually. And then I saw the uh, uh, topic about uh, today about improving the uh, English skill, I think. So I think it's uh, time for me to join this online class already. <laughs> yeah, you. you can join like tomorrow class, the next class. So thank you, Pepe. So are you yeah. are you still are you fine right now? Do, do you still sick or? Yeah, uh, I feel better right now. Thank you. Okay. I think. Okay. Thank you, Pepe. So yeah. yeah. So that's so yeah. So wait. Nah. So yeah. So so the basic idea is that uh, writing you can use it as a practice for yourself. Uh, write anything without stopping. If you wanna do it constantly, you can set your goals, set a target. I wanna write something, anything in 15 minutes or more. So uh, in this way, it's actually gonna, uh, you know, like you would know what uh, your vocabulary because in this uh, tips, you just write anything. Don't don't do not really care about the grammars. Just write, 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 write. After you're done, later on, you can you can see each sentences and find the mistakes, right? And then edit it. So so how do I know the mistake of my uh, sentences? One way you can actually use if you have a laptop, you can open Microsoft Word. It's actually have a grammar a checking. You can use that. Or maybe you can ask a friend to check it for you, or maybe your teacher, or maybe you can use online uh, platform. I mean, there's a lot of online platforms. So yeah, it's just one, one tips. So let's make it fast. The other way, the other one is speak with someone in English, like, like I just did with Pepe. Uh, you can do it regularly to improve your English. Like maybe you can set uh, today. I want to speak with someone in thirty minutes, or maybe tonight. Maybe you can always set your time. Like every Tuesday class, I want to join Bridgezone. Then I want to speak with the friends there. So yeah, this is uh, one way for you to uh, improve your English. Uh, you can you can go to a community like Bridgezone on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Don't forget, and then you can maybe you can find a friend that you want uh, that you can ask to learn English with, or you can use like online platform like I don't know maybe there's some online chats, like yeah, and then maybe if you don't have a friend, you don't have a you don't you don't have a internet quota, you can you you always can find a mirror and talk to yourself. Not a bad idea. I mean, I did it myself. I mean, it's really easier, uh, easier for you to learn English. I mean, like, just talk, talk, and talk. At least you get used on, on saying the English words. So, 
Yeah. So the next is okay. I wanna ask um, Nanda, I guess. You there? Uh, me? Nanda. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you read for us the sentences in the screen? Can you see it? Okay, I can see that. Okay. 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 okay my dad's name is Pierre. He's from France and he speaks English and French. Um, when he was young, my mother went to France on a student exchange and they met there. A few years later, my dad moved to England and married my mom. He works as a French teacher. He's very tall, much taller than my mom, and athletic. He's got short blonde hair and blue eyes. Okay, so from this paragraph, what is the basic idea of the paragraph? Mm, the basic idea of this paragraph is telling about um, uh, my dad. Ah. Is it my connection? No, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 okay, Nanda. Yeah, yes. You got muted. Yeah. Oh, oh pardon, sir? What yeah, you can say? you repeat again the basic idea of the paragraph? Oh, the basic idea. Okay, for the basic idea that I got from this paragraph is... um. This um description about my dad. Description. Oh, okay. Dad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Nanda. Yes, you're welcome, sir. Yeah. So as as Nanda said, the, this whole paragraph is talking about uh uh this person, dad, and mom. So yeah. So that's the basic idea of the paragraph. So the so what is the tips here actually? Mm -hmm. So the tips here is that read anything in English. I believe that you guys read blogs from your phones, right? So I, I would suggest you guys to find a blog that is in English. Again, do you want to set target on it? You can you can set it like 15 minutes reading in a day, maybe. Or 20 minutes. In that range of time of reading, you might find like five or 10 new words, so maybe like more words, new words from the from the articles you read. It can be an article, it can be a novel if you are a novel reader. Uh, read anything that is, that is in English. Uh, yeah, that's the basic, the basic tips about read anything in English. Um, okay, so this is some example of text. I want you guys to read it. Once you, uh, while you're reading it, I need you guys to write down new words that you don't know. Okay. Just write it down. Any words that you don't know. And then later on, I want you guys to chat in the box. Eh, right. Type in the chat box how many words that you don't know from this paragraph. Okay. So you can do it now. Some of your friends already typing spare head, hiding, spare head again. Okay. Foster. Recognition.
Okay. I think that's I think that's the only words that you guys don't know yet. So if you want to, well, well, you now you can search the meaning of the words. Like spare heart means pioneering, if you guys know. And then like hardening, it's like you know like put new height. Okay. So yeah, this is one simple like like from from this example of a uh, 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 paragraph. Uh, yeah, you can actually find new words that you don't know, and then later on you can search what's the meaning of the words. So this is the basic tips of uh, reading articles or reading anything that is in English. So again, to sum up, from all the things that I've said from the beginning to the end, we're actually talking about like four English skill, like listening, reading, speaking, and writing. Like this four skill of English that I, I guess you guys already know, is really important for you. You know, you can learn and then next uh, improve your English. So yes, I think that's it for my session. It's done. Uh -huh. So right. what now, MC? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, that was a uh, really uh, good tips and tricks. Uh, and then, yeah, so for the next session is we're going to jump to the uh, discussion, a group discussion. Can I explain it first? Sure, sure. Okay, so in each group, there will be some image will be shown. Uh, and then the, uh, the, the, the simple instruction is that you need to express your thought about the image, like just speak anything. It comes to your mind when you see the image, okay? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe uh, maybe I will repeat so the so you will uh be gathered to uh, some people in your group, and there will be one facilitator that will be uh share a picture, show you a picture that you have to express something about it or you have a personal experience about the picture yeah you just have to talk about it anything about it okay and now i, I want to make sure to my friend ani have you uh, created all the groups yes already yes okay you can uh you can break out the rooms now Okay, guys, uh, you will be in the background room for 23 minutes, so make most out of it and have yeah. fun, yeah? Have fun, guys. Be active. Okay. Okay, the participants uh, are starting to decreasing. Right. Okay, so guys, uh yeah, I think uh all of yes. the rest the rest it's for the main room. Yeah. Room. Oh I hope I can join the FG decision. Okay. No, you join, you join in the main room. Yeah, so we have uh, FGD session two in the main room. Okay. So, so uh, the YouTube viewers can watch us talking, discussing about something. Okay, before I start, so uh, could you please guys turn on your camera so I know that you're here with me? Thank you, Saiful, Ram, and Amanda. And the rest, okay, thank you, Fauzia. All right. Okay. Uh, Kanza and Gifari, how about you guys? Okay, I think uh, later I will uh, just call your turn. So uh, guys, so what are we going to talk about is, uh, oh no, 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 I think I want to greet uh, everyone here first. Hi, Saiful. Hi, Tere. 
Hi, is it your first time here in Red Zone? No, actually it's my third time. Okay, so you just, uh, you're new, right? It's Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, you have experienced a uh, group discussion before? Uh, yeah, in, uh, in the last week. Oh, okay. Great. And hi, Karam. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> oh, hi, Rene. Hi, guys. Rene. We have our vice president. <laughs> vice president. And then, hi, Kamanda. Hello, Karere. Yeah, how, how's your day in uh, the gloomy day? It's great. Thank you for asking. It's great. You don't feel mugger, right, today? Actually, I was really mugger today, but I had to work. <laughs> okay, but you still, uh, you have to stay productive in this gloomy day, right? Yes, exactly. uh, Is it your first time, by the way? No, it's not my first time to join Bitson. Okay, thank you for uh, always joining us. And then I'm going to greet Hi, Kofauzia. Hi. Hello, how's your day, Kak? Um, yeah, it's good. It's good. All right. Are you ready to discuss about a picture that will be shown? <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, I hope I hope uh, it can enhance your English skill. Okay, thank you. Hi, Kakanza. Okay. Okay, maybe uh, she's in other rooms. And then, hi, Givari. All right. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's jump. <laughs> jump to maybe she's in the toilet. Or, or maybe sometimes Zoom uh, is like error. The name is here, but the person is already. No, they are actually here. They are all here. Oh, they're all here. Okay. Yep. Thank you for confirming. Okay, let's jump to what are we going to talk about. So, guys, I will uh, share a picture here. Is it visible already? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who doesn't know this picture, <laughs> this, this cartoon? Okay, I believe everyone already familiar about this. Uh, and so yeah, we are going to talk about Dora Uh What I want you guys to talk about is actually uh, it's free. It's up to you. Uh, Either it's about your personal experience about it, or you have uh, uh, your favorite character, or you can describe uh, one of the character. Yeah, it's really free to express what you want to express about this uh, movie, this cartoon. Yeah, uh, who wants to talk first? Hmm, all right. <laughs> okay, nobody wants to be the first one who described this picture. So I will pick you guys. Uh, maybe Kamanda. Can okay. you please share your thoughts about this picture? Or, or if you have your personal experience about Dora Emon, you have your favorite character, or you uh, really hate one of the character <laughs> you can you can just talk about it okay so Doraemon is a, a popular Japanese cartoon and when I was a kid I love watching Doraemon especially I love uh, Doraemon because I think he is the helpful cat he always tries to help Nobita every time he needs help and he teaches us about friendship because when someone needs the help, you should help him or her. And he is also very cute. I don't know why. I find him so cute. And his magical pocket is so attractive. He can do anything with just a single pocket. I think it's so great to have this magical pocket and also that magical door. You can go anywhere you want. It's so great. Maybe you can travel to other countries without having to take oh an airplane. God. 
just with a magical door, it will be amazing if we have that in real life. And also maybe I can, uh, I like um, the other uh, character which resembles Doraemon, the cute yellow one. I don't know the name. Dorami. Dorami, <laughs> <laughs> so cute. I don't know why. And Giant, I think uh, he can be annoying sometimes, but he, he yeah. makes uh, this cartoon really funny and enjoyable. I think that's all from me. That's all. Okay. Do you also uh, read the comics, the Doraemon comics? Yes, I bought some Doraemon comics when I was <laughs> kid. I spent my time uh, reading those comics. Yeah, the comics is also really good. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, for uh, the kids who are lazy to read, like me, I really love to read the Raymond comics. Yeah, yeah. I love <laughs> Okay, is that all, Kak Amanda? Yeah, that's all for me. That's all. Okay, thank you, Kak. And uh, for the next, I'm going to choose Kanza. Kanza, are you here? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, so uh, what's your thought about this picture? It's cute and friendly. Who, who, who is cute and friendly? <laughs> is it Giant? <laughs> the diamond is cute and, and look friendly. Doraemon cute and friendly, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and then, uh, do you have any like, uh, uh, how about Nobita or Shizuka? Do you have any thought about him or her? Okay, Kanza. All right, I think uh, she's busy right now. <laughs> Thank you, Kanza. And then I'm going to choose. Saiful. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Thank you, uh, Karere. Uh, when I was younger, Doraemon is always uh, one of my favorite cartoon, and it makes me wake up in the Sunday morning. Yeah. 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 We are ready in uh, front of television. The story tell us about the robot. Uh, Doraemon is actually a robot from mm. uh, the future. He come to save uh, Nobita life because uh, grandfather of Nobita tell the uh, towards Doraemon to make Nobita better. I mean, uh, mm. he is sometimes very lazy. I don't know about it. <laughs> I don't know about the grandfather part. Okay, you can continue. Yeah, because uh, Nobita is a lazy person. And then the story tell us about the friendship and sometimes the new stuff from the pocket the Raymon. And the character is so cute with a blue color. I mean, uh, uh, it's Doraemon. And then uh, they have different personality on a friend of Nobita, like a giant and Suneo, Shizuka. I think enough. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. all. Thank you. Okay, I, I didn't know about the grandfather part. How do you know about it? I think it's the first, the first series, the first story in a book, in a comic. Oh, so you also read the comic? Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you uh, call uh, collecting the comics, or uh, you just sometimes you buy, or sometimes you read, but not really, not really in comics or what? Uh, just. Sometimes I read. No, I'm not collect the comics. Oh, you you didn't write. Yeah, usually uh when I was a kid uh I usually go to Gramedia and then I open <laughs> the cover 
the comic and I read. If it's interesting, I buy it. <laughs> If it's not, no. <laughs> to Gramedia. Uh, okay. Thank you, Saiful. You're welcome. Okay, and then I will call uh, Gifari. Are you still here? Hello, Gifari Yoga. I'm calling your name. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, maybe I will call for the next Hosea. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. I think, uh, I think Doraemon is uh, my childhood uh, movies. Yeah, same as uh, Saiful. Um, yeah, it's um, the the movie that um very uh, it's very interesting when uh when I saw in. Uh, my child, my child, yeah. When I was child, um, uh, I like the character of uh, Shizuka because um, she's only the one female in in yeah. in this movie. Um, and then beside the beside the movie. Uh, in RCTI, every more every Sundays there are uh, some of movie in bioskop and then uh, movie in the bioskop is uh, very interesting and I think it's very good as a cartoon. Yeah, is that all? Yes, uh, I think. Okay. Yeah. But do you know uh, that Shizuka and Nobita already get married? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know because it's the last <laughs> movie. I think. Yeah. yeah. Did you watch the, the movie? Don't spoil it. Yeah, I watched the. Watch. I ever watched the movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I actually haven't watched it yet, but I know like uh, the summary is <laughs> Shizuka. Is getting married with Nobita. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, the end. Yeah, the end. Like of finally, the, finally. The end of the series. A lot, a lot of fighting with giant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so ah uh, yeah, the lesson learned is please don't give up <laughs> for the guy or any girls. Like if you want to get someone, yes. Because Nobita, get it, got it, got Suzuka. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, thank you, Hosea. Yeah. And the next is Karam. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. hi. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I believe you also uh, experienced watching uh, this uh, movie or this cartoon every Sunday morning. <laughs> so, yeah, of course. Thought. Yeah, as a... As a... 90 generation of course i grow up with this uh cartoon too yeah i still remember my childhood memory i wake up every sunday morning to get to watch a uh, cartoon because back then cartoon is only uh there uh, in sunday right so yeah there's no parable or even there's no youtube yeah. so Man, uh, Sunday is like a special day to to me to to watch the cartoon because yeah, there's a lot of cartoon on a Sunday. So yeah, I still remember that. And Doraemon is also one of my my favorite cartoon back then. And yeah, what 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 the question again, right? Uh. Actually, there is no question, but you just share your thoughts. Oh, okay. Either the character or <laughs> your experience about this movie. It's yeah. um, As I remember, I think in this picture, we 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 still missing one character. Oh. But I forgot the name. It's like a Nobita rival. 
can you guys uh, say the name? I oh, forget yeah. the name. The one, oh, uh, the boy who very yeah, the one uh, who's smart. clever. Yeah, yeah, the one who, who make a novita <laughs> insecure. As a ripple. Really? As a <laughs> Diki, Diki Sugi, right? Diki Sugi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank okay. you, Saibo. Oh, yeah, oh, who's again? Who again? The name? This Diki is... Sugi. Diki Sugi. Okay, I will find it. If I'm wrong, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, who who? The Diki apa? Diki Sorry. Sugi. Oh yeah, this Diki Sugi. Diki Sugi. This is. Can you chat? Diki Correct Sugi. me if. Oh yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Is it correct? Oh, yeah, the yeah. I cannot. I cannot. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Write the name because I hard to spell the name. <laughs> 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 to the chat room. I think as a 90 generation, we are so lucky because back then the television in the uh, golden era for a cartoon yeah. because if we see nowadays uh, television is very dangerous and there's <laughs> yeah if we see uh, the the news like predator they yeah. they invite predator on the talk show yes i agree with that we uh, like After I remember after Doraemon, uh, there is Shin Chan, <laughs> <laughs> Detective Conan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and we also and, have Space Tune. Yeah, and if yeah, you definitely. ask me about what is my favorite character in Doraemon, I think Deki Sugi is one of my character. My yeah, it's, character. it's your role model, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he is the smarter and yeah the handsome one. And as I remember. <laughs> the Nobita rival right and yeah. then yeah I just I just uh, like him because he's smart and uh, diligent and he also I think uh, is a uh, being, <laughs> yeah, being role model uh, <laughs> uh, between the all the character especially for Nobita because it's a uh, Nobita rival even though yeah at the end we know that Nobita, um, Sisuka is uh, actually getting married with uh, Nobita, right? <laughs> but, but actually, Deki Sugi is one of my favorite character in Doraemon because he's smart <laughs> and diligent. Smart and diligent and handsome. It's too yeah. good to be true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. And Nobita always got a zero score on every uh, exam. <laughs> yeah. But I think from from the the Doraemon story, I think we can learn about. I think it doesn't matter how smart you are, how how diligent you are. At the end, if you are the most lucky person in the world, you will get what you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> because there is Doraemon, right? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's about the destiny from God. What also. destiny? <laughs> So don't worry, don't insecure with the smart one or even the handsome one. <laughs> life is fair. Life is fair. <laughs> yeah, uh, life is still uh, balanced. Like, mm, what is ideal? Oh, uh, fair. Life fair. is fair. Yeah, life is fair. Still fair. <laughs> don't worry, guys. Yeah. You might be lucky someday if you're feeling unlucky today. <laughs> Okay, uh, <laughs> that's really great. It's a really great discussion. I feel like uh, going back to uh, the days when I was a kid. Okay, and then I think... The 1990s. Yeah, 90s, <laughs> 90s era. Actually, it's so nostalgic for me too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. God bless you who created uh, Doraemon cartoon. <laughs> okay, I think I'm, I will try to call Kagifari Yoga once again. Are you already here, Kagifari? Okay. We have, we have one minute left, uh, Tre. Okay. Uh, okay, no problem. If uh, Maybe you want to say hi to our YouTubers. YouTube. Oh, yeah. I no, yeah, there, there's like two people actually joining our gym. 
station in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, there is there are Ainina and Liana, <laughs> Liana, our uh, member from Malaysia. Hi, and then oh my God, yeah, you have a a compliment, Matthew. From Liana, this class is so exciting. If I'm able to attend, unfortunately, I forget today is this day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hi, Liana. Hi, Liana. You have to send. Thank a you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for watching uh, us on YouTube. And another compliment for from Ainina. Love your PPT, Kak <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, Ainina. Uh, Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Saipo. <laughs> the PowerPoint <laughs> is great. Yeah, he is a great person. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I felt super lazy. I mean. Oh, Anissa. Anissa, thank you for helping us answering Deki Sugi. <laughs> okay. Wow. I think we, ha we have 10 seconds left. And okay, guys, if we are, we, if I need to call one of uh, the member from this group. Maybe I will call Ka Saiful, okay? <laughs> Is it okay, Ka? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, okay. Thank you. If, if we have um, more time, yeah. Uh, so I will call you. Because I think it's already 20, 20, 20 22. And everyone is already back to the room to the main room hi guys i hope you're enjoying your your discussion your english practicing yeah, yeah someone feel hungry because of it <laughs> oh you did you might what what are what are you talking about on the main because the, the picture that is shown is like indomie goreng <laughs> Someone literally cooking as we are talking. Oh yeah, it 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 influenced someone. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. I love Indomie. Okay, I think the participants start increasing. We're here. Okay, so yeah, because we still we have a limited time, I'm gonna just call from each group, but. Uh, I'm sorry if uh, I didn't call, I don't call every group because yeah, it's a limited time. It's already 2023. 20, Maybe from the first group what that I will call is from uh, Dimas group. Dimas, are you already back here? Yeah, uh, Rere. Uh, thank okay. you. Uh, yeah, actually, from my group, uh, we not agree yet. Uh, we will be our representative. Um, but I think I will give that to Kaulan. <laughs> Kaulan, you may want to become our Kaulan. Yeah, to share to us. Are you, are you, are you there, Kaulan? Hi, Kaulan. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you talking about on the no, no, no. Well, why do you choose me Dimas? <laughs> or you want to no. yeah. okay um but i'm sorry i cannot uh, turn on my camera right now um i'll i try to uh tell us about the, what what we discussed uh in the main uh in the fgd uh we talk about the uh actually we must uh show uh us show us a, a poster a poster about the what is the uh sambal uh i forgot the name it's like a sauce with the extra but just some kind of that and then uh we have uh, we have three members there a uh, four with Dimas and then uh, we share about the spicy spicy food and then uh one of us uh it's if I'm not mistaken uh, Nana uh she like 
uh, the spicy food so much and uh, she said that uh, if uh, she eat something that not spicy it's not eating for her <laughs> and uh, it's opposite uh, with me and I don't because uh, I don't like uh, sp- spicy food uh, I don't I don't really like uh, the spicy food and I think uh, the queer uh, the same uh, it's uh, almost the same but uh, he she has a favorite food with the spicy taste um, it's like a ati ampela <laughs> what, what is what is ati ampela in English <laughs> I don't know about that and yeah and Uh, for me, I concerned about the poster because it's so eye catching, and I thought that uh, the poster was made by someone who, uh, in uh, I don't know, maybe in uh, 10 years ago, because they still use uh, what is it, uh, SMS hotline, and then uh, we found. Uh, picture uh, uh, a picture of phone uh, it is uh, is it the picture ka? yeah <laughs> can you imagine in case, <laughs> what do you in think case. about it <laughs> like, oh it's the last year yeah <laughs> there you go. we found the nokia phone and then yeah it's, uh, it's not uh, we, we we feel we <laughs> oh my god <laughs> remember about the phone i forgot because uh, it is a nokia <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh my gosh Old okay we find, we find the answer about the phone it is nokia uh six what is it uh 66 six, six, six. i don't know how how we how is that it <laughs> remember <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so last year. Yes, uh, it is about uh, our discussion, Rere. And yeah. Thank you for the opportunity. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Kaulan, for sharing. My pleasure. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> Talking about uh, commenting about the design, the poster design. <laughs> like, we already live in this era where... Uh, We usually find picture, aesthetic picture. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's Discuss right. about the poster <laughs> that being shown by Dimas. Okay, thank you, Kaulan. Okay, for the next, uh, I think I'm going to call... Wait. Uh, Hani's group, I think. Hi. Hi, Hani. Hi, thank you for What are you me. going to talk about? Oh, about, yeah, Sam asked to tell about Indomie. <laughs> oh, Indomie. <laughs> okay, okay, it's very interesting topic, I guess, and I wanna uh, know and hear from Diane's story. Hi, Diane, are you there? Hi, Diane. Okay, so the first reactions uh, that I made when I saw this, I was laughing because, you know, uh, seeing this brings back a lot of good memories from the past, from my childhood. I remember those days when my mom got mad at me because I would sneak out and buy the stuff and eat it raw. So my mom always said to me, uh, no, don't eat it raw, you know. <laughs> It's not healthy, but yeah. Well, um, that was when I was a child. So I think everybody can relate to this because, you know, in this pandemic time, you cannot be so picky about what you eat. It looks like it that you don't have any choices but to eat instant noodles. And I don't know, but there is something interesting about the brand because no matter what you buy, they're going to call it Indomie. I, I guess it's yeah. because uh, the popularity, right? Everywhere, even, you know, 
if you if you bought like uh, what sarimi or something like that, you're gonna call it indomie. What, what did you buy? I bought indomie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sorry. and some of us like Evika and Safi, um, they live alone, so they can relate to this on a spiritual level because you know, um, even Safi one day uh, when they went to uh, when they went hiking, uh, he said that he would eat uh, almost eight packages which is wow <laughs> for me <laughs> and also Epica, Epica, um, she said that uh, actually sh she's on a, on a diet uh, not on a diet I mean she, she's doing a, a yeah. healthy plan something like that right so she's really uh, concerned about what she eats but seeing this it's it's really calling it's like, come on, come, eat me, eat me. <laughs> so yeah, that was from my, uh, from our team. And thank you for Epika and Hani and Safi for sharing what you um, <laughs> think about this Indomie. Okay, thank you, Dian. <laughs> yeah, who, who doesn't love Indomie? Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, um, maybe some uh, there there are some people who love Indomie but avoiding eating Indomie, <laughs> but still they love Indomie. So everyone, I believe everyone love Indomie. <laughs> and then uh, for the next group, um, I think I will call from um, Mus group, Mus's group. Hi Moose, are you here? Okay. Okay. So from my group, I got Nanda Permatasari, I got Pepe, I got Firman, and then I got Nikki. So we actually talk about Doraemon from the perspective when we were kid and uh, from the perspective when we when we when we growing up. So it's totally different. So I wanna Nanda. Hello Nanda. Yeah. Yeah, Nanda, speak your mind, Nanda. <laughs> okay. So, like, um, as we talk about, we talk about Doraemon. You guys know, like, Doraemon bring us back to our childhood memories, and yeah, it was like it's Sunday more on Sunday morning. Um, we used to watch the one Doraemon, and um, we discussed about the personality of each character like Nobita, Suzuka, Giant, Suneo, and Doraemon. And we are talking about um, the one, like if we have the magic things, like magic pocket, the magic door, and um, which place and what things that we want to have. So yeah, it was exciting. It's only that for me. Excited. Well, excited. Yeah. It's enough for me, sir. Maybe yeah. wait, maybe Pepe wanna add something? Okay, uh, uh when we talk about the, the Raimon movie, uh, uh it kind of remind us about the friendship actually uh while we have the bad one like um, Suneo and Giant who always who always bullied Nobita, but somehow, uh, like you said, that uh, the real friends actually uh, kind of show us the bad thing at first, but it literally like teach us something so we can uh, grow up better, I think. And in the end, uh, Muse asked me if I were Suzuka, uh, which one I would choose. Uh, is it Nobita or Suneo? Well, I um, answered that actually I don't really like the personality of Nobita and also of Suneo. Nobita is kind of like not that gentleman, uh, whether Suneo is like uh, the rich one who kind of underestimate other, but if I have to choose, 
I answered that I would choose Nobita because uh, Nobita somehow uh, is a kind-hearted person. So I think I need that kind of person most in my life. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, that's from our group. Okay, thank you, Nanda and Pepe. <laughs> thank you for the thoughts. Okay, and uh, so guys, I think uh, I want to say sorry because I cannot call all of the group's participants because we have limited limited times as now we are, uh, it's already 2036. Uh, so uh, the, for the next is, I want to call our conductor again maybe he still has uh, some some things to to say or maybe the last statement yeah yeah uh thank you really so yeah as you guys see as you guys did in the backup room and uh, we just talk, talk about doraemon indomie or what's one more oh the 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 ads for the sambal that that's that shot um it's, it's actually just one one object that you guys talk about, right? And then you guys talk about things, talk about that. You you share your thoughts. So just just because this one object that you guys talk about, each of you in the breakout room actually, you know, sharing your knowledge or you're actually talking in English, right? I mean, like one way around, you actually improving your skill when you're in the backup room. So yeah, so so this steps you can you you can do it like with your friends, with the others. So so this simple steps you can do it on on your home. So yeah, so so just take a look around and you there's a lot of things you can actually learn. Uh, you can use to learn English. So Yep, I think that's all for me. I don't really have any closing statement. Just keep keep learning English. Don't stop, and keep speak. I mean, yeah, just speak. Don't need to scare. Like, forget about the grammars. Even the native American native don't really use their grammars. I mean, well, they they use their grammars, but in daily conversation, they they kind of uh, don't really use it. So yeah, so yeah. Just speak. So, yeah, that's that's for me. Uh, I give it back to the MC. Thank you. All right, yay! Thank you, Matthew, for your insights, for your uh, tips and tricks that based on your experience. So, hopefully, everyone here can uh, practice uh, either it's writing, listening, or even speaking. Uh, so I think if you want to learn more, I think you should uh, join this community uh, more, <laughs> like more sessions. So you can meet a lot of people and you, ha you can have conversations with them. So yeah, and then, yeah, it's uh, already the last uh, part of our session, but I think I still have a game for you guys. So you can practice more. You can train more your speaking uh, speaking skills in English. Uh, I will show to you guys what, what's the game. It's actually a mystery game. Okay. Is it feasible already, guys? Yes. Yes. Wow, thank you. Yeah, so this is a mystery game. Uh, the objective is to challenge your English skill. So you can uh, enhance your speaking skill or you can uh, being, what is it? Yeah, your confidence uh, in speaking English. So yeah, without any further ado. Yeah, this is a stranded on an island game. So uh, how, how, how's the game? The game is you have to. Oh, I think I'm going to call some people first. I forget. I think I'm gonna let you guys who wants to join this game. 
Raise hand, guys. Yeah, I think I have to call three people. Can Shafi I try? Mansia and Dian. Uh, can I try? Shafira. Shafira. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe we can pick person that haven't joined our game yet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, did you guys already have joined our game? Safira, Firmansha, and Dian. Have you ever joined this game before? I think Firmansha and Dian already joined, yeah. Firmansha and Dian already. Okay. Yeah. Can I try? Okay. Uh, so we have Safira, Mardi, and Nana, maybe? Nana. Yep, I'll try it. Okay. Hi guys, Safira, uh, are you here? Yeah. Okay, we have Safira, Mardi, and Nana. I will take a note first, in case I forget to. Safira, Mardi, and Nana. All right. So, uh, what is it? What's the game about? It's a Stranded on Island game. So what you have to do, guys, uh, you have to imagine, for Safira, Mardi, and Nana, you have to imagine that you are uh, stranded on an island. Uh, and you have to stay alive, right? Because you're alone, you're stranded on an island, you're alone, and you, you have to keep yourself alive. Uh, and you, have, you need to choose a tool that you can... Uh, used to save your life. Nah, uh, and then this this tool is uh, on a treasure boxes, and I will show you the following treasure boxes. Okay, we have five boxes here. You have to pick a uh, one. Okay, I think I'm going to start with Safira. Which box you want to pick? You want to choose? I think the first one. The first box, okay. Noted. And then for Mardi, which box? Uh, the five. Four. The fifth one. The five. Okay. And then the last, Nana? I will choose number three. Okay, you choose number three. Okay, let's open the box, the treasure box. What is it? The number one, five, and three. Ta-da! Oops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Oh, that's number three is a gun. Yeah, we have for uh, the first book is a rope. The five, fifth box is a motorcycle. And the third book <laughs> is a gun. Okay. I don't know how to answer it. It's a gun. It's yeah. A gun. Okay. Okay. It's just, yes. just uh, yes. imagine. My, and, yeah. I was like your, imagination. Yep. Yeah, create your own skin scenarios on your mind. Uh, how can you utilize these tools? Okay, I, I will give you maybe uh, 20 seconds <laughs> to think about it. Okay. It's fortunately someone uh, didn't choose the second box. <laughs> okay, 20. I think it's already 20 seconds. Uh, who wants to start first? Safira, Mardi, or Nana? Can I try it first? Sure. Okay. Uh, I cannot imagine that I got a gun, but uh, okay, because you said that. I should use my imagination, so I will try, do my best. Okay, as a gun, maybe it is important to, it's, about, it's one of the important things maybe if we are, if we were stranded in, uh, in the islands, okay? So what, what would I do? Okay, I will uh, pick the guns and pull out the, the air maybe, okay? And get a fire maybe, if maybe, um, maybe, the other people maybe who are living not so far maybe can hear the fire, okay? Or maybe the others, uh, uh, or maybe the other plane or maybe boats or something here 
uh, hear the, the hear the sounds of their guns, maybe they will searching where does the sound of the guns from? Okay, I think that's it because there is no way out. There is what the what what we can do from the gun. I just that's that's it. Make a fire. Does it that fire is meaning that I pull the guns. So will be uh, something like blowing something. Maybe they will hear it. That's my imagination to use uh, gun. Okay. <laughs> so uh, you I pull my trigger. Okay, I pull my trigger and, and then they will blow. That's in that. That is a sound. It's very. So you can see when the gun is uh, is uh, blow. Maybe it, the the sounds of the gun. Maybe we hear with somebody else. That's my hope. Okay, <laughs> that's your scenario. <laughs> Yeah, this Someone may might be noticing you uh, need help on the island so that they will help you. Yeah, it sounds kind of like SOS. It's like reminding to a okay, right? so like uh, S send S or S signal to the others. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> that's great. Thank you. I think that too, if I uh, get a gun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the idea. Yeah, because if I heard that somebody, if there is a so noisy or there, if there is someone here, uh, uh, guns blow up, so will be attract somebody to find out where does yeah. the sun from. It is my test. My yeah, opinion. absolutely. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Nana, <laughs> for, thoughts, for the idea. Okay, I think I'm going to move to the next person. Who's going to present? Mardi or Safira? Uh, okay, uh, maybe okay, uh, I would like to first. Uh, this is one of the expensive one, uh, tracers, but it doesn't mean, uh, yeah, you will be safe. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I think mm, motorcycle, uh, I will uh, using motorcycle. Assume in, in one uh, island, and then the first thing that I have to uh, uh, think is about how to avoid the animal, the dangerous animal. Mm. So um, if I can uh, run as fast I, as I can, if I can run as fast as I can, uh, I would like to use this motorcycle. And then uh, I would like to go around looking for helping. So, uh, and I hope there is one, uh, yeah, uh, like me, uh, to find out the same, the same, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, to find out uh, the the, uh, the the same solution for for our uh, yeah uh, in Ireland, I think. And then when when we have found some uh, using some stones of this motorcycle to to find out the uh, the other helping for for, for helping our. Uh, condition. I think this enough. I don't know how the specific uh, things to using this motorcycle. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe because, you. Because, you, in, yeah. because, in, uh, uh, because uh, I'm in uh, island, and when when I have to uh, menyebrang, it doesn't mean <laughs> I I will be using motorcycle. Yes. There's no way out with yeah. motorcycle. Mm. Yeah, you just have to enjoy the island. I think this this is the good idea. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, thank you, Mardi. Okay, for the last is Safira. Yeah, I got the rope, the number one. Yeah. I think I think it's quite good because it's versatile and I can use it for a lot of things to survive. I can I can climb a tree with it, with the rope. And you know. Taking a coconut, taking yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, or maybe uh, if I have an infinite uh, length of rope, maybe I can build a bridge out of it to walk to the uh, nearby island. Maybe yeah, or you can be or make a flying fox. Oh yeah, that's a good idea too. <laughs> yeah, because we yeah. get a lot of you know coconut tree <laughs> yeah and yeah i think 
I think I can make like a roof, a stable roof out of it to shelter me from rain or or sun. Yeah, it's it's quite good to have a rope. Yeah. Okay, that's all. Yeah, I think. Okay, thank you for joining this game, Safira, Mardi, and Nana. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I think that's all for the game. For those who haven't uh, got the chance to join this game, uh, you gotta join every session of Tuesday, guys. <laughs> Maybe next week. Okay, for now, I think we have to uh, do our um, class tradition. It's a photo session. Okay, so before I capture the screen, please turn on your camera, guys. <laughs> okay, I, I, I see a lot of comments here about the game. <laughs> okay. Okay, is that all, guys? Fauzia, Asto, Kanza, Kanana. Yeah. Sorry, I cannot turn on. Can you turn on your camera? Uh, sorry, I'm very if sorry. If it's not possible, it's okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay. I think you guys already uh, ready. Okay, thank you. Uh, sorry, I mean, it's okay, guys. Okay, I will capture the first part. I will count three, two, one. Again, three, two, one. Okay, I'm going to the second part. Okay, give me your fake smile. Three, two, one. Fake smile, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Who's laughing? <laughs> Thank you guys. That's all. Don't forget to join tomorrow's session. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for joining. Thank you, YouTube. Bye. Our viewers on YouTube. Thank you for joining. Thank you, Bye. Thank, Thank you, guys. See you tomorrow. See you on another mystery game. Okay. I'll see you for tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Yeah, bye bye. Yeah, I'm not very Bye bye. Keep healthy. Why nobody? Why nobody? Uh, nobody choose a uh, bygone on the island, right? <laughs> you the one who want to choose bygone. I choose bygone. I choose bygone. <laughs> <laughs> actually... Forget to turn off the live. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>